Flanked by his current boss, Governor Leon Guerrero, Lieutenant Governor Joshua Tenorio made the announcement at a large gathering this weekend of family and friends in Hagat. Before you make big decisions in life, you have to go and ask your family and your friends. And I took the opportunity to ask them whether or not they'd support um, my uh, initiatives, and they and they did. Uh, and so it's very humbling and uh, quite, you know me, Nestor, I always try and be prepared. And so uh, in doing this, uh, I'm taking all the steps I need to uh, to get prepared. Tenorio is getting his organizational paperwork together and will start raising funds and do what he needs to do, he says, to mount a convincing campaign. He says, historically, there's almost always been a Democratic primary challenger, and he expects the 2026 election will be no different. We live in a democracy, and that's something that can be expected and celebrated. Uh, but I think it's always best to have an early start so that you're able to um, to mobilize. My purpose also is to make sure I let my supporters know that I'm I am going forward and uh, and looking forward to you know continuing to hold on to um, not only that support but uh, hopefully to. Uh, uh, count on their enthusiasm. He says if elected, he will continue many of the issues of the current administration. But new issues will arise, he says, that will distinguish his administration. Policies evolve, of course. Uh, I'll tell you one area that I feel very committed to is maintaining the fiscal posture of the government. We've been able to, together as a team, uh, stabilize finances so that uh, together with the Guam legislature, we have capacity to provide aid to individuals, residents, businesses during times when they feel vulnerable. And I want to continue to have that capacity. And who will be his running mate? I could tell you that there's quite a large number of people that, you know, are have been uh, suggested to me. And so I'll be, you know, spending the right amount of time talking with people and um, and going forward on, on that portion of the decision making. I haven't made a decision yet. The next gubernatorial election is still about three years away. Nestor Lecanto, KUAM News.